Oh man, I'm so tired. Okay. You can see it's. I don't know if you can see that. I have a bunch of junk, jack in the box, and everything everywhere. Anyway, it is 3:51 in the morning. Um, <laughs> I'm tired, guys. I'm very tired. I just got finished editing the video, the Tech News of the Week video. It is rendering right there. And, uh, woo! I need, I need to chill. I really need to chill. Okay, so, today was a pretty busy day, and I wrote down this huge, well, not huge, but this list of things I have, I have to do today. Um, I had to paint my shed in the backyard, and it was probably like 80 to 90 degrees outside today. I woke up really late, you know, I always wake up late, so I wake up around 12 to 1 o'clock, I go out there and I start painting the shed, and I only paint like, like a fourth of it, not even, just like the fourth, a third of the front of it, okay, um, because I had other things to do, I was like, dude, I'll just do the rest some other day, you know, like, I'll just work on it little by little, so anyways, that's what I did, I started painting the shed, and I was like, okay, good deal, um, after that, I basically get a phone call saying, hey, by any chance, can you come into work early? And I'm like, yes, I can. So I went in at 5 o'clock instead of 6.30, and I worked until about 10.40 p.m. I got work all day. And, uh, yeah. I get home, I grab some Jack in the Box, because I'm, like, super hungry. After I finished eating, I, I started watching some, you know, shows online like The Office and stuff. After I'm finished eating, I get to recording and I start at like 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning and I'm like, oh. Yeah, I waited a while. Like, I, I got into my shows and I was just like, oh, this is so fun. And then I started chatting it up on Facebook a bit and whatever. So, I'm tired. I'm like very tired. Um, but whatever. I had to make that tech news video. Huh. <sighs> Okay, what am I going to do right now? This tech news video is rendering. Um, once it's finished rendering, I need to get this video, edit it like really quick, like chop the sides, and then render it. So it cuts down the video size, and then YouTube for some reason doesn't take the raw videos out of this camera. So it's like stupid. So I have to do that, and then um, render it, and then upload it. And then once I set this video to upload, I will be in bed sleeping. Because I'm like, done. I have to wake up tomorrow. I don't even know what I have to do tomorrow. I have to probably work on some school stuff, so... Ugh. Lame. Okay, today, <clears throat> I've had this vlog idea, this vlog video idea in my head for a while, okay? And some people like, to, like for me to give tips um, to people. Let me write these down really quick uh, as I'm talking. So, people like me to give like my top five tips, whatever, like my top tips of high school. How, you know, a freshman of high school. I made that video a while ago, and it, you know, got pretty popular on this channel. Uh, I also made top tips of, uh, I don't know, what else? Well, I did some other things, and I just give advice and stuff. Well, I thought I would do another one, and I've been thinking of some ideas lately, and whatever. So, here it is. Life lessons. Life, life tips for you guys to survive out in the world. Hopefully I'm in focus, but anyways, for you guys to survive out in the world after high school, or even today, as you live your daily life, um, just some of the things that I kind of collected over the years, um, even though I'm, I'm pretty young, I'm like 20 years old, so, although I'm young, I, I would call myself a pretty deep thinker, and I, I think a lot, like all the time, I'm always thinking, I'm always staring off in the distance at nothing, and then my friends are like, dude, what, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I was thinking, you know, I, I'm thinking a lot. And I think I have some pretty good tips to give you guys, and maybe you'll follow these, and maybe you already do these things, and you didn't realize it, or someone, some old wise man told you these things, and you're like, oh, look, Jerry's already an old wise man. Anyway. So, these are my life tips. Here we go. Uh, in no particular order, okay, because I, I just, I don't even remember them. Number one. Number one. Um, <clears throat> these are going to be totally random, okay? And they're serious. I'm serious about this. Number one, credit cards. Don't ever use a credit card, because it sucks. I swear. It sucks. If anything, if you get a credit card, use it for emergencies, okay? I first used my credit card to buy this guy. I had half the money, and I used the other half to get this guy. 
I used the other half, um, I had half the money in my account, and then the other half I used a credit card, and that was probably, uh, I'm glad I did it, but at the same time it was kind of like a, a mistake. I did it because I wanted it for my animation class, and I wanted to start rendering videos better, and a lot more, so it was a good investment, because this thing is still a champ, and I render videos, and I use it every day, and it's kind of my baby, you know, so that was a good investment, but uh, now that it's over, it's over. Anyway, don't use credit cards. Only use it for emergencies. For example, if you get a flat tire or something, don't go out. Do not buy fast food. Do not buy Starbucks. Don't go buy just anything with your card, credit card. Okay, use it for emergencies. I know what I'm saying. I, I, I know what I'm saying. Okay, trust me. Um, only if you absolutely need it. Okay, I'm serious. And then make sure you pay it off. Only use what you know you can pay back on it, because once that credit card starts climbing, this is the biggest mistake that adults make today. And it's also a mistake and something they also can't avoid, because our economy sucks butt right now, at least in America, I don't know any other country stuff, like I'm horrible at all, at all that economics crap. I don't know, I, I just live my life, like I guess I'm self-centered, I guess you could say, you know, I'm just like, dude, you know what, I do my YouTube stuff, and I'm focusing on my own career right now. I don't really care about the world right now. Like, I don't care how, how freaking other countries are doing money-wise. I don't even know how my own country is doing money-wise, you know. I just know money sucks all over. Anyway, so, <laughs> wow, that just made me sound like a really big douche, huh? Um, no, but seriously, don't use your credit card because it just kind of climbs and it just kind of just builds on top of it, on top of everything you've done in the past, and it just gets out of control. And that's what happened to me. And I finally paid it off. It's done. It actually happened yesterday. I just paid it off. I was like, dude, no, done. I'm done. Like, never use this thing again. Um, yes. Only use what you know you can pay back. Okay? Like, something that's doable. Like, if you get a credit card, you're probably going to start out with, like, a $1,000 limit, maybe. $500, $1,000 limit. And then um, don't go out and say, oh, dude, I'm going to buy some new shoes. I'm going to buy myself a shirt. I'm going to buy a laptop. I'm going to buy a computer. This, 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 you know. Uh, I know some people who've done that. They're like, dude, I just got this credit card. Like, I went to Best Buy and I freaking, uh, what is it? I, I, I got approved for this credit card thing and they said I could take this this computer home without paying. You know, and I'm like, oh, you know, that's, that's cool, but how are you going to pay it back? You know, like, you got to think ahead and think, how, how am I going to pay this back? Can I? And um, whatever. So that's my number one tip. One tip. Tip number one. Don't use your credit card. Um... Be smart about money, okay? Learn to save your money. Um, me, apparently, like, I'm lucky that I started making money early in life uh, because of YouTube and stuff. Uh, when I was like 14 or 15, I started making money on YouTube. And I'll, at the time, I was like, oh man, like, I'm making, I'm making pretty good money. Like, oh man, I have nothing. I've, I had like nothing in the world to care about. No bills, no gas money. I didn't have a car. I had a, school was free because I was in high school. I was just like, dude, like, I don't know what to blow this money on, so I just started buying random crap, like like a freaking beanbag for my phone. Like, what the heck, you know? Don't freaking spend your money like that, guys. Um, in the end, I started. I, I bought some things that were really good investments, such as my monitors, um, headsets, microphone. A lot of the things I bought helped me today every freaking day. But there are some stupid things that I buy, like this little beanbag thing and freaking this Griffin Powermate crap, like, there's no reason to have those kind of stupid things around, you know? Um, this Wally, actually, I didn't even buy this one. This one was a Christmas gift. It's my favorite character ever, so, fun fact. That's why you guys will probably always see Wally in my videos. Anyway, make sure this is recording. Good deal. All right, so number one tip. Tip number one, don't use a credit card. Um, all right, number two. Number two. I learned this one when I was taking guitar lessons. I took guitar lessons way back when. And I had to leave them. I actually had free guitar lessons because my uncle hooked me up. But then we moved uh, to this house and, well, we had to leave the guitar lessons, you know. And I was only in there for like a few months. Um, and I forgot everything since then. That's why I have like a little mini Squire guitar because that's why, that's why we got it. Anyway. Um, I was in a my first recital ever, okay? I was in my first recital ever, and here's what the instructor said. And since then, I have used this advice my whole life. 
Okay, because it really does pertain to a lot of things you do. One, play the part. If you're in, re if you're in the recital and you play the wrong note, okay, Nobody in the audience will know that you played the wrong note, unless it's like horribly crazy wrong, you know, it's like bow, like when it's like zing, zing, bow, you know, and it's like, oh, you know, they won't even know it's you. But anyways, if no, like if you play the wrong note, don't freak out and go like, oh, make a funny face or anything. Just play along with it. Just go, just go along with it as if nothing ever happened, okay? This happens all the time in daily things, okay? If you mess up, the whole thing is if you mess up, and it's kind of like the thing that you're doing on your own and the other person has no idea what you're doing, how it operates. Don't, don't give it away. Don't give it away that you messed up because they don't know that. Let's say I'm making a tutorial. This has never happened, by the way, but let's just say I'm making a tutorial and I'm going through some program and I mess up and I show you guys the wrong thing on accident or something. I'm not going to say, oh, crap, I showed you guys the wrong thing. I'm just going to play through it as if it never happened, as if that's what I meant to do, okay? Uh, for example, um, let's see, I don't know, just just play the part. Another thing, I, I worked on a house, Extreme Makeover Home Edition, okay? Here's a good example, just play the part. Um, <clears throat> there are areas when you are building the house, like, there are the stars, which hang out in their trailers all day, by the way, they don't even help, on, they don't help on the house. At least that I saw, they weren't helping in the house at all. They just go out there with their little perfect condition hammers when the cameras came out, and that's it, you know. Anyways, there were like the trailers for all the stars, and then there were the normal people working on the house. There are some areas where the stars are and some VIP areas that you're not allowed to go to um, without like a certain pass, certain hat, sh certain shirt, certain wristband, or something, you know. What me and my brother's girlfriend's or ex-girlfriend's um, dad did is we just played the part, we walked around like we knew what we were doing, like we belonged there, and we went to the VIP spots, you know, we were just like, you know, and we got to like shake hands with the celebrities, and we got to like say hi and see like one of the celebrities' babies, he was like walking his baby in a stroller and stuff, and it was, it was like, dude, like I just played the part, and there was a dude with like a, a list, like he had like a clipboard, right, and he's like, you know, one of those guys like, name, you know, like, it's VIP, you're not supposed to go in there. And me and him just kind of walked in, like, nonchalant, just like, dude, like, we belong here, you know? And he just let us in. He didn't even, like, look at us. He was just like, all right, cool. It was, it was like, play the part. If you look like you belong there, no one will give crap, you know, like, usually. Um, there are some people who have even gone through, like, the backstage of concerts and stuff by just playing the part. Now that, I don't know about if that'll work anymore these days, but it, it works, you know, sometimes it works. Play the part. Uh, if you mess up, don't make it obvious that you messed up. Just pretend like it never happened, and they don't know. You know. So life lesson number one: don't use credit cards. Life lesson number two: um, play the part. Uh, okay, number three. Okay. Number three: have goals. Okay, have something to look forward to. Um, this is kind of like with that whole positive life kind of idea. If you, I, I wrote a status today on Facebook and on Twitter. I said, if you think your life sucks, do something about it. If you think that you are a lazy swine, you're not getting anywhere in life, and you're just like, dude, I'm not progressing at all in life, or you just, you just feel totally pathetic, I don't know if you do, but if you do feel like that, do something about it. Get up off your butt, start working look for a job, get a job, you know, like, I know it's hard to get a job these days, but just keep searching, keep calling places, keep showing up places, introducing yourself to managers, whatever. Make your life work. Make it happen. Do something about it. You're the only person that can really make a difference in your life, you know. How often does some crazy freaking opportunity come up? Not that often. The only way that opportunities come up is if you put yourself out there and you present yourself in a presentable way, in a respectable way. Then people and opportunities will come to you and things will start happening, guys. I'm not joking. The only person that can really make a difference in your life is you. You have to be able to uh, represent yourself and present yourself as a, like I said, respectable person. And then things will start happening. Uh, anyways, goals. Wow, that was kind of weird, you know. Um, I don't even know how I went from goals to that, but... I don't even know what number that is. It's like a half number. But goals. Always have something to look forward to. Okay. Number one, credit cards. Number two, uh, play the part.
Number three is um, do something about it if you think your life sucks. Number four, goals. Have something to look forward to. Um, that's my trick. I always, like, I have a whole schedule set out. I, I look forward to making videos. I have a schedule set out. I, I look forward to playing a video game, you know, just to waste time or whatever. But those are kind of small goals. My biggest goal, it, my big goals right now are, like, do good in school, you know, um, achieve something. Or a good goal for me is, like, I want to work as a animator, 3D character animator. That is my goal. I am looking forward to doing that. Um, another goal of mine is to save up X amount of money. So when I get there, I'm like, yes, finally, I, I achieved my goal, you know. Have goals. Short-term goals, long-term goals, do things. Just go. So goals. Um, it just kind of keeps your head up, always hopeful, and just, you know, like, even small things, such as if you have money, Order something in the mail and order like the, the freaking slowest shipping ever. You use, um, you know, regular standard shipping and it takes like two weeks to get to your house. You're looking forward to that. It's something to keep you going, you know, like if you have to get that desperate. That's if you have money though. So, yes. Uh, always have something to look forward to. Um, next one would be, uh, let me see. What would another one be? It, it's hot in this room, by the way. It's like freaking amazing. Like, not amazing. It's horrible in here. It's like sweaty in here. Um, okay. Another one would be uh, don't let people tick you off. Don't let people make you angry. You, you're watching this video. You're on the internet. You're used to seeing trolls. Trolls as in comments, as in videos, as in whatever. People people who just like to irritate people, who like to just get people mad, who are just so stupid on the internet, you know? Like, people who just start arguments over nothing, you know? I grew up on the internet, so it's really hard to irritate, to not irritate me, but to get me mad over anything. It's hard to insult me. That's the better word. It's hard to insult me because I grew up on the internet. I've heard just about everything. People have called me just about every word. They've said, dude, I can kick your beep, you know, any day and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, who are you? You're on the internet. You're probably some, like, five-year-old kid. Like, I don't even know. You know what I mean? So if you have a job, people will probably tick you off. Or at least people will come in angry and they're having a bad day. Here's my thing about angry people. They are most likely having a bad day, and they influence others. <clears throat> they influence others around them. Okay, people give off that kind of energy. So I work in an ice cream shop. People just freaking flip out over nothing. Okay, and they give you attitude and they snicker at you and whatever. Me, I just give a good smile. I'm like, hey, you know, how's it going? Um, will this be all today? Um, is this for here to go? You know, stuff like that. I'm just like really nice to them. And it sometimes ticks them off even more because I'm just like nice even though they're mean to me, but whatever, you know. Just don't let people tick you off, guys. There's no point in letting people tick you off. I mean, there is a point if someone is going to start messing with my family or someone like beats my brother or, or whatever, you know, socks my brother in the face or socks my sister in the face or some dude, some kidnapper or something, I'm going to go after that fool and I'm going to take him down. You know what I mean? Like, that's just who I am. There is a line. There is a fine line. Where you gotta get mad sometimes. You gotta get out the inner freaking caveman or cavewoman, you know, and just freaking, yeah, kick butt. I'm trying to keep this PG, you know, I can use so many curse words right now. And if you guys ever, like, play Call of Duty with me, or ever somehow get in my lobby and you're like, oh, dude, you will probably hear me cuss a lot. Um, <laughs> anyway. And I'm tired. It's 4 o'clock. Dang, how long is this video? Jesus! 20 minutes! Wow! Well, those are my tips, okay? I'm just going to leave you there. Don't get mad at people. Don't use credit cards. Play the part. Um, have goals. Do something about your life. Is that the wrong thing? I don't know. Um, oh, last one. Have a hobby. Do something. My hobby is computers. My hobby is video production. I love it. I'm perfecting it. I'm, I'm not perfecting it, but I'm learning about it. I'm mastering it. I'm... I love everything with video production. It's my hobby. It keeps me busy. I'm never, ever, ever bored. I always have something to do, and that's one of my tricks to keep on going. Sometimes it is exhausting, and sometimes I do take 
days to myself or weeks to myself or whatever. But uh, it's just what you gotta do sometimes. I'm done, guys. Like, I can't keep my eyes open anymore. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank you for watching. <laughs>